US-54 General Operation Ultrasound The AMREX model US-54 ultrasound modality has a standard output of 1 MHz frequency. AMREX does offer both 1 and 3.3 MHz outputs as a device option. Other US-54 device options include a small faceplate transducer, quick-connect detachable cable transducers for easy cable replacement, and dual transducer-equipped ultrasound generators. US-54 generators are equipped with serialized transducers. The transducer or transducers assigned to a given generator must only be used with that generator. The US-54 is equipped with a cable fault alarm system, transducer protection switch, interrupted output, and has combination therapy capability. The cable fault alarm system will alert the user to transducer cable damage or improper cable connection by activating an audible and visible alarm. The transducer protection switch, located on the transducer cradle, will shut off ultrasound output from the transducer when the transducer handle is placed in the cradle during treatment. This will protect the crystal, located in the transducer faceplate, from overheating when it is not in contact with the patient. Interrupted ultrasound output can be achieved by rotating the interrupted output control clockwise, enabling the audible click, and setting the interrupted output control to the desired output interval. Combination therapy is ultrasound and a stimulator modality applied through the ultrasound transducer simultaneously. Depressing the US-54 internal power ultrasound, stimulator, and combination switches to the on-down position and properly connecting a dispersive pad to the white stimulator output jack will enable combination therapy. In order to operate the ultrasound modality of model US-54, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Connect the assigned ultrasound transducer to the generator's ultrasound output transducer connector and place the handle in the transducer cradle. Depress the US-54 internal power ultrasound switch to the on-down position. Reduce the ultrasound intensity control to zero and set the ultrasound interrupted output control to the off position, enabling the audible click. Prepare a contact medium at and around the treatment site with a liberal coating of AMREX conductance and coupling gel. Rotate the power timer knob and set it to the desired treatment duration. The ultrasound on indicator light, located above the upper left corner of the ultrasound meter, will illuminate. If the ultrasound generator is equipped with the 1 or 3.3 MHz output frequency option, set the ultrasound frequency switch to the desired ultrasound output frequency. When the ultrasound frequency switch is in the left 1 MHz position, the green ultrasound frequency indicator light located on the upper left corner of the ultrasound frequency switch bezel will illuminate and ultrasound output frequency of 1 MHz is selected. When the ultrasound frequency switch is in the right 3.3 MHz position, the yellow ultrasound frequency indicator light, located on the upper right corner of the ultrasound frequency switch bezel, will illuminate and ultrasound output frequency of 3.3 MHz is selected. If the ultrasound frequency switch setting is changed during treatment, ultrasound output will be discontinued immediately. The selected ultrasound frequency indicator light will flash. Ultrasound output cannot be resumed until the ultrasound intensity control is returned to the zero position. The selected ultrasound frequency indicator light will cease to flash and remain illuminated. Now ultrasound output can be activated. Slowly increase the ultrasound intensity control to the desired output level. The selected output level will be indicated on the ultrasound meter dial. If desired, Adjust the ultrasound interrupted output control now. When the ultrasound interrupted output control is rotated clockwise, enabling an audible click, the interrupt on indicator light, located above the upper right corner of the ultrasound meter, will illuminate 
and the ultrasound meter indicator will rise and fall, indicating interrupted cycles, provided the transducer is not in the ultrasound cradle. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound when treatment is completed. To initiate early shutoff, rotate the power timer knob counterclockwise to the off position. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound. Reduce the ultrasound intensity control to the zero position and thoroughly clean the transducer faceplate before placing the transducer in the transducer cradle.